YouTube, what is good? Back at you with another banger. In this video, I'm going to show you the best shooting badge method in the warehouse. Get your shooting badges really fast. You will get all of your shooting badges by the end of this day, guaranteed. In my previous video, I covered how to get all your finishing badges. So if you want to know a good finishing badge method, make sure you check it out after this video. I will leave it on the end screen. Also, I have a badge glitch video where you get unlimited warehouse games. So make sure you check that out as well. That way you can just do your shooting badge method and, you know, get warehouse games over and over and over again until you get all your shooting badges. And you basically just saw it right there. That's literally all you need to do. Once you check the ball and call for the ball if needed, and you run up the court right about to hit their body, run to the side and shoot the fade. Because when you act like you're running into the computer, he backs up kind of, and then you can move laterally, and you get an easy three. And that's all you have to do the whole game. You'll be open all the time. You just got to make sure you don't run into a help defender, and that's it. So, you get your takeover really fast. About to hit him. Fade green. It's that easy. You literally just do that all game, every game. By the way, the fade you want upon is normal, just normal. Normal one, the one that just says normal, that's what you do. And look at it, man, LeBron cannot pass the ball for anything, but I can green for anything, man. If you know your fade and you do this method, you will end games so fast. And if you do the badge glitch, like I showed in my previous video, you need to check that out. It's on the end screen, along with the finishing badge method look get that out of here man not in my house we playing some defensive we gotta get them defensive badges too don't ask me for a defensive badge method video because i honestly don't really know you know i just try to bait for blocks get bump steals and camp rebounds you know that's literally all i do and that's probably why i'm earning my defensive badges last i'm still earning defensive badges but i have max finishing max shooting and max playmaking playmaking badge method coming soon now, don't force threes like I just did right there. I don't know what I was doing. Luckily, 2K let me make that white. You know, do not force stuff like that. If it's not there, you know, pass it to your teammates and reset. Or you can just run around circles. I don't like to do that. I feel like the game just doesn't let you hit shots as much when you do that. I just don't think the game likes when you do that. But literally, all you got to do is just run into them and... Or pretend about to run them and then run the opposite way of them and just fade and just don't run into the help defense and you will not get contested. You saw I did force a little corner shot in the beginning, you know, it was kind of a bad animation because I did get bumped by accident. Do not get bumped. Right here, I think I decided to just go for some finishing. So, you know, I did that. We got the easy dub, shot a good percentage. You know, I, I didn't show the points because I just cut off the recording once the game ended. I shouldn't have done that, but you're going to get a lot of badge points. I mean, just run around, do fading threes all game, shoot a good percentage, and just look at how much points you get. And sometimes the computer will even sag off like how Christian Leitner is doing right here. But I'm doing the alley-oop glitch, which is just throw your teammate three alley-oops. Throw three alley-oops, and then you get the game reset. And see that block right there? Damn. But... Yeah, you throw three alley-oops, and you get to play the same team again. I basically just told you to glitch. You don't have to watch the video, but I would like for you to watch the video. You know, it helps me out a lot. And make sure you like this video if this is helping you out at all. And hit that subscribe button, turn on post bell notifications. So you see how close we are to 7,000 subscribers, man. I really want to hit it, so please help me out. Okay, so pause if needed, but I'm going to tell you the key to greening these fades. You know, it not only is it important for this method, but you need to know for the park. Because in the park, a fade is the best shot that you can take. So you want to look at your player's ass. And once your ass stops moving in the air... That's when you let go of the shot button and you will get a green every time guaranteed. I'm not trolling. Check it out for yourself. My player's bro, so I'm nice and thick, so it's not hard for me. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? You're about to see it right here. Look at this. I'm coming up the court. You thought it was going right. Nope. Hit him with the fade from the left. 
and I'm almost at double take. Yeah, we are losing. It's because Larry Bird, it's impossible to steal the ball from him. And this man, Kevin McHale, be getting his own rebounds and making some BS layups, you know. Only so much you can do, but I got that take over, and I'm just rim running because I want to win the game. You know, I'm a competitor at the end of the day. You know, I genuinely enjoy Warehouse. I think Warehouse is more fun than Park. Look, Larry Bird's impossible to rip him, and he makes the right pass, but I do get the block. And another block, Kevin McHale, you gotta stop being stubborn, man. It's not your paint, but that's my three-point line. You're too big and slow for the fade. And if you work quick enough, it doesn't matter. It's just unguardable because of this game's shitty defensive mechanics. Look at how weird the computer is. They are really doubling in warehouse. But look, Magic Johnson, one-handed three-pointer. He's just too clutch, man. Magic Johnson, man. You can't disrespect Magic. He's a legend, bro. The Celtics should know, man. Magic has broken their hearts several times in the past. And he's doing so again in this warehouse game. Getting bumpy on Larry Bird. Renewing the rivalry. Did you ever see the Bird Magic documentary? I highly recommend it. One of the best baseball documentaries I've ever seen. It is some great stuff. Mikhail's trying to work me, man. I make him pick up the drill, take a bad shot, but he gets the tip. You see that rebound animation he got? Like, come on, 2K. Come on, for real. But, you see, I'm just gonna rim run, get the dunk, because one, at this time, I needed finishing, and, you know, just want to win, man. And finally, the unrippable Larry Bird gets ripped. Left hand like J-Man, we come away with the win. If you made it to this point in the video, I trust that you are a real one, and I need your help. I have a few videos lined up. I have a best playing and badge method video. I have a best jump shot video, and my thoughts on NBA 2K21 Next Gen, and why it's a disaster, and what needs to change with 2k let me know which one you want to see first in what order i might post a poll on twitter my twitter is down below in the description so make sure you hit me with a follow speaking of hitting with follows make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on post bell notifications if you haven't already we are so close to 7k and of course if this shooting badge method video helped you out at all make sure you drop a like it helps me out a lot and you know some videos on the end screen the badge glitch, finishing badge method, and, you know, a most recent upload or best for reviewer video, whichever I choose. So, make sure you guys check those out, and make sure you are here for my future videos. But, till next time, I am out. Peace.